Well, lastly, I think in the realm of uh, demos that defy comprehension right. and truly are uh, extremely impressive, there was one last demo here that showcased, I think, mega geometry as well as restart path tracing. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, so this demo was another UE5 demo where they made the entire thing here with, um, what were they using? Yeah, they were using Reister, uh path tracing, as well as the mega geometry. And what they were doing in this demo was trying to show off how mega geometry would apply to Unreal Engine 5. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like I described earlier, there is the fo proxy fallback mesh with uh, Unreal Engine 5 when you turn on hardware Lumen. And so the ray trace scene is a much simplified version. So you can't actually use get direct shadowed ray tracing with it because the shadows are totally misaligned with the geometry. If you look in reflections, you'll see that they are not lined up perfectly. They are very simplified and it can even lead to inaccuracies in indirect lighting as well too. This entire, this is a path trace demo. So that means the geometry has to line up perfectly with it. Now there's a lot of insane stuff here. <laughs> okay, so the, they show off very simple things too, like, oh yeah, now we're getting uh, with path tracing on and the ray traced shadows, we're getting like the perfect uh, shadows from everything, adding a ton of extra detail, right? Like they're looking at these vines on the wall, tons of extra detail in the shadows there. I asked another question about this demo, since it is using mega geometry, another way we kind of simplify things in games, like in real world, everything's like three dimensional, right? Uh, but for, you know, stuff like, you <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, but for vegetation in games, they use alpha cutouts where mm -hmm. it's like a triangle or a quad, and then there's a texture dictating which parts are transparent or not. That's expensive to trace against, but with mega geometry, you actually don't need to f fall back to that level of simplification. So one thing this demo also had is all of the leaves are all done through real geometry. They are not alpha cutout cards yeah. because now mega geometry allows them to get that level of detail while tracing and support it with the amount of triangles it has, as well as just trace against it efficiently, even if it moves and changes with each second or with each frame, essentially. And so that leads to unparalleled levels of, you know, density of lighting information, density of stuff when you get up close. It looked incredible. And they also showed off after this a couple of other phenomena, like uh, obviously they, they looked up close at geometry turning on and off and stuff and whatnot like that. But they also went over to this, these side galleries where they had perfect mirrors aligned. And this was using a Reister PT. And they would switch on and off here between hardware lumen, uh, lumen cache for the, the, the reflections versus uh, using the Reister PT path. Uh, and there you would essentially see like extreme differences both in the quality of the geometry and the way the lighting looked in any of the reflections. Um, it was night and day. So like if a game actually did have somewhat more perfect mirrors, it, it would lead to really intense differences. They also showed off like the differences of indirect lighting on these leaves in this corner over here where, you know, there's a limit to the amount of detail in screen space that Lumen can achieve. Right. And it just actually did look like kind of generationally different when they would <laughs> quick, you know, it's just allowed for just such a greater capturing of lighting detail on a small scale because actual geometry was being represented and not simplified over. Um, this is another demo where it just goes to show the future of how this things could be. I don't know how reasonable it is for a game to ship currently with, uh, I think the size of the demo was, 80 gigs? yeah, it was 80 gigs and it was not using neural uh, texture. Uh, compression, so which would, you know, I think they said they said it would reduce it by like a, a very severe factor. It would be a much smaller demo because a lot of the demo was actually, you know, they, they were spending a lot <laughs> on the texture sizes and whatnot like that. Um, so like this, this is a very promising thing and I, it's already in the, it's going to be in the NVRTX branch. Um, and I really hope to see this in games because uh, this is like Lumen's good but it's great if you can scale higher than Lumen and um, also start representing other types of effects that if you have the real triangles being traced against of the primary view scene, yeah.